Leon, your cat educator, and yes, today I'm gonna talk about, uh, you've been asking me, you've been harassing me to talk about the cat cube. Now, I know what you're gonna say, you're gonna say, Danielle, you're a bit biased because you participated into the development of that product, and yes, you're right. Uh, but it's precisely because B1 Breed, the manufacturer and designer of this product, came to me saying, Danielle, we have a wonderful product that we know gonna please the consumer. They could have stopped there, not invest any more money, put it on the market, it would have made millions. But they came to me and they said, we want it to be adapted to the needs of the cat. And not only did they listen to me, they made several modification, costly modification to their original design so that it can be adapted to the needs of the cat. So today I'm gonna talk about the base kit and I'm gonna make two more clips because I have too much to say about this one. But let's begin with the base kit and how to assemble one of the cube. The base kit comes with three cube, a memory foam bed, a cloud pillow, a toy, and a scratching pad made out of carton that you can change. I'm gonna talk about all the accessories in my next video. But for now, let's see how you can assemble one cube together. You're gonna to see it's very easy to do. The cat cubes come with four different panels that you can assemble the way you want, depending on your preferences or your cat preference. It also comes with an open base and a closed base. On each panel you have a slot here that you simply insert where the arrow is and you just snap it together. You assemble the four panel as easy as that. You now have to secure the sides. This is done with those plastic band and you can see here that we have three little anchors where the plastic slide to secure all the sides. A little thing that complicated my life during the assembly is the fact that those plastic bands are a little bit curved like that. So a little trick here, just try to straighten it so it will facilitate the insertion in the panel. Now that you have assembled your three cubes, it's time to assemble them together. Now, uh, in my next video, I'm gonna show you how to fix them together. You, you might think that you're kind of condemned to that pyramid, but you can do much more. First, uh, you can uh, shift that top cube left to right. You can leave a space between those cubes. You can put them together. Uh, you can put one of the cube or two of the cube at a 45 degree angle. You can also do the famous tower, the three cube one on top of the other, but there's one thing here that represents maybe one of the few negative point of the cat tree, it's, it is light, okay? It's easy to transport, easy to assemble, but it loses a little bit of its stability because it is so light. So you can attach it to the wall with that strap that is supplied with the cat tree and it's very easy to do. You just have to clip in there and fix it to a wall. And the beauty of the cat tree here is you can, buy those cubes separately, one at a time. And from there, believe me, you can go berserk. So in my next video, I'm gonna show you how many different design we can do when we have more than one cube.